Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tammy. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Today on the channel, we're going to be making um, two pot holders. I'm new to embroidering, so um, rather than spend a lot of money on some blanks, I would uh, recommend that you start out with a couple things they have from the Dollar Tree. So I bought these two little pot holders and we're going to go ahead and embroider a design on them for Valentine's Day. So without further ado, come on, let's get started. Okay, so before we can begin, we have to go ahead and prepare our material for the embroidery machine. So what I have here is a four by four hoop and the machine I'll be using is a Brother PE 800 and I have some tearaway stabilizer. This is a sheet, eight, eight by eight, I believe is what it is. So what I'm gonna do is place that on the bottom or should I say place it on top of the uh, bottom hoop. And then I'm going to place the top hoop piece that slides down in the middle. Just try to get it centered. Place that down in the middle as such. You can see that. And then I'm gonna take that screw at the bottom here and I'm just gonna tighten it up. And you're wanting to get that sound it sounds a little bit like a drum is what you're looking for. That makes sure that the stabilizer is nice and tight. This helps your stitches to be firm. And that one popped out again. So let me tighten it back up some more. And instead of hooping the pot holder, I'm gonna do what they call um, call it what do they call it free floating floating this the um floating the pot holder so what I'm gonna do and this is the back this is where the tag is and I want to make sure that I pull that out to the side just kind of bend it down backwards so that I don't embroider that to the back of the pot holder and then I have some of this basting adhesive it's temporary basting bond um, purchased it off of Amazon and what you're going to do is just pick it up and I'm just going to spray it a little bit on there. Then I'm going to take that pot holder and I'm going to center it in the hoop and then I'm just going to press it down so that it kind of adheres temporarily to the stabilizer. So there we go. That's how you prepare the material for the embroidery machine. I'll meet you over at the embroidery machine. Stay tuned. Okay, so we are back here at the uh, embroidery machine and I have placed on the side my um, PES files. These are embroidery files that I have downloaded from different sites, um, Juju's Designs and uh, Etsy and some other places I get my designs from. So when you want to bring them into the system, you'll hit that little guy over here, little sign that's for that. And then um, you'll see I have some of them in different files here, but this is the little Valentine's Day one that I want to hit. And we are going to be doing in a four by four. So I'm going to do the four by four hoop set. And I'm gonna hit set. And then that's the design you see there. And that's what we want. And so I'm going to hit um, end edit. And I can size it over here. So what I'm gonna do here is you'll see me, I'm gonna go ahead and place the embroidery hoop hard on here it snaps into place and so then back over here 
Now, now that that's in place, I wanna kinda see where, I'm trying to see if I can get both parts of the screen in here so that you could see. Let me back out a little bit, okay. So what I wanna do is make sure that the center is in the center of the design, is in the center of where I want it to be. So um, I'm going to hit this little square down here and then I'm gonna hit this uh, square over here and if you see the thing, you see it moving over here, it's showing me the area and how far it's going to embroider. And then it goes back to the middle. So if you feel that the middle of it is off, which I do feel that it's off a little bit for me, um, what I'm gonna do over here is I'm going to, um, no, that's taking me back there. Come on, Tam. Go back, there we go. And I'm going to, okay, I need to get it to the center. So let's get it to the center, hit okay. And then it's not really in the center over here to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it up a little, and then I wanna move it a little bit to the right. So that looks centered to me. So then I'm going to hit this button right here again, and it's going to take me back to where it's going to trace the field and which is going to work. And I'll see if that looks okay. And it takes me back to the center. And that looks fine to me. So now um, I'm going to hit okay. And then when you hit embroider, it's going to tell you how long it's going to take for each color, and it's going to show you what the colors are. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the camera, and I'm gonna to go to my um, stack of embroidery thread, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull these colors. There are four colors, and um, then we'll go ahead and thread the machine and get started. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so I've gone on ahead and threaded the machine. Um, just a little note. The colors that they give you right here on the screen, you don't, these are just the ones that are, were in the design that I chose, but you can change the colors to any colors that you want to use. And so I thought I'd change them to um, some different colors. So instead of doing the blue, we'll probably do the green. And instead of doing the purple, we'll do the yellow, but I'm going to keep the pink and then the letters are all going to be white. So. We're gonna go ahead over here. I've threaded the machine. I'm gonna put the lever down. You're gonna see the green light come on. I'm gonna hold this out here because this is extra and I'm gonna cut it, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit the start button. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, oh. there and we're gonna go ahead and let that get to stitching um, we're not gonna make you sit here and watch the whole thing but it pretty much does its thing you just keep an eye on it make sure your thread is um, releasing properly and not getting jammed up or anything Basically, that's it, guys. So we'll come back when we switch colors. And I'll show you how to go ahead and thread it. Okay? Stay tuned. And here we have our third color, the pink. I've gone on ahead and changed out the thread again. I'm not going to make you sit through that. And just let you get a little taste of how it stitches out again. And then when this is done, we'll switch out to the final color of white. We'll, it'll go ahead and put the little uh, sentiments on each heart. Alrighty, stay tuned. All right, 
right, you guys, and we're just gonna put that down. I've loaded the white and it's gonna go ahead and embroider the letters, the little be mine and too cute and kiss me on there. So here we go. Okay, so it has finished stitching and we're just going to lift that needle up. We're going to go ahead and remove the um, lever so we can take the hoop off. There we go. Can you see that? And we're going to go ahead and cut up the uh, loose threads on here and tear off the um, tear away stabilizer that's on the back. Get that cleaned up and then we'll show you the final reveal. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, here we are with the finished product. We have two Valentine's Day pot holders and I will put these to good use in my kitchen making some cookies and some cupcakes for Valentine's Day for the ones you love. Do me a favor, if you've liked what you've seen today, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd love to have you as a follower. Um, but until we meet again, happy Valentine's Day, enjoy and be blessed.